All right, well, it is very clearly fall in Michigan, so that means it's either 85 degrees or 60 and rainy, but when it's 60 and rainy, it's fabrication time. So, we're making a downpipe, but we're not going down, we're going sideways, and we're doing it cheap and on a budget. That's why we only have one preformed thing, because frankly, you can't do this any cheaper than buying it, and just straight to. So you know what's coming. High cuts and a lot of take time. So, yeah, let's get after it. Well, no. make it go fast one way or another. All right, so thankfully this little guy, you know, 25 bucks off eBay, actually fits a three inch V-band like it's supposed to, which I know shocking. But, um, so these, I only need one of these because the other one's obviously on the turbo, but that's a three inch V-band and this actually sits inside of it, nice and, nice and tight like, so I can actually weld this on this inside edge. Keeps this super, super clean looking, but then also actually helps so you don't get turbulent air across this little ridge right there, so. First things up is get this tacked up and then put it in the engine bay, bolt it up and see what kind of space we're actually at. I shifted the turbo forward probably a lot more than the internet thought I should and uh, we still don't have a lot of room. So tight packaging is literally this car's uh, fundamental business. So let's get it. Well, uh, this is all, well, I wasn't going to tack it, but I just kind of used it as a chance to get the settings dialed in and leave it to this cheap Chinese V-band to have some weird coating on it that doesn't like to weld nice. So I know it's not like your stainless welds that are shiny and perfect, but frankly, those TIG setups cost way too much for me and I've never had one of these welds break. So until I run into a problem with them, then I'm going to keep doing it this way. But. That's on, and we're gonna toss it on and get to figure in. Okay, we're on, and the plan is to take it from here out, well, not even really out, but instantly start to turn it and actually put it through right here. And eventually something out down here, but then again, it might also just kind of come over and then up through this corner of the hood because that actually needs to get taken out because we're not running a factory hood. We don't have a factory hood, so I'm probably gonna have to make a carbon one of those too. So if that interests you, subscribe now because it's coming later. All right, it's a new day. Um, last night I just spent some time and, you know, just good welding practice, but. So this is the V-band that goes right off the turbo, basically right into a 90, so. It's actually a little bit less than a 90. I think you see that turned out to be like an 80 degree bend. That's the good thing with pie cuts is you can kind of just tack them together, weld them up and see how they land in the car. All right, so here it is in the car. Um, so yeah, it's uh, not far from this. So the idea is that we're gonna shoot it this direction to here and then straight up and out. My initial plan was to put it through the fender well here, but after looking at this, this beam right here that runs front to back is actually a fairly structural beam. And if you say, how do you know that? It's because it's boxed in. This whole structure is actually a box. So that is what's giving this whole front end most of its structure. And frankly, I don't feel like tubing the front end of this car. So yeah, we're not messing with that. I'm not gonna ruin the structural integrity of the unibody, so we're gonna leave that, bring it up and out here. And yeah, for, for a decent amount of time, we're just gonna have a nice stack here, because uh, yeah, I don't know how tall the hood's gonna be, but we're also need to put a wide band sensor in here, so it's probably gonna go right in here. I realize it's very close to the header here, so hopefully we can get it kind of in this face and get it up and I might have build a little heat shield for it. But thankfully the turbo manifold is long enough. We should get good exhaust gas mixture. Plus the turbine will help you get a good exhaust mixture 
And because this flares out to four inches, the airspeed should slow down enough that the wide band can get a good signal. Cause I don't want to put it that close to open air. I'd rather have a nice sealed area for it to get a good, good reading from. So next we're going to figure out where to go from here and then, you know, start working on getting it up and out. All right, so that's all welded together. So basically the process was V-band on, put this on the V-band, get us our initial turn just so that we can make this turn back here, make this corner. And then I put on this piece to here. That way it was easier to kind of judge this distance. So then once I had this all together and this piece here, I made our second bend. Now that basically gave me a distance so that I could have a nice tight tolerance there but not run into it. So then I made that, held it in place, and then measured out this little filler section. So all this little section did was bridge this piece to this piece once it was made. That way I could get the fit where I wanted it. So as you can see it's a tight fit around there. There's space there, space there. And what I'm actually going to do now that I'm not going to film is I'm just going to put an extension on this because I don't have a hood yet. Well, I haven't made the hood yet. So rather than having to uh, whip everything out and get that all set up again, I'm just going to cut off probably a four inch, five inch piece off that and just stick it on here. That way when we cut the hood and cut the hole for the hood, I can just trim, trim around this, well, the piece that gets added onto it cut that and then it'll be nice and flush with the hood. So hopefully you learned something. If you didn't, I don't know, if you found it entertaining, that's cool. But if you did any of the above, feel free to subscribe. We're gonna do more of this and plan to make videos on everything that I do to this until it's running, which is hopefully this winter and driving, which is hopefully next summer, so. Stick around, subscribe, like, comment, do all the things, and until next time, 